Well, hi there. This is the Cookie Sports Podcast, where the only thing you need to know is the S stands for sports. And today, we're going to tell you about what your team needs to do in the offseason. This episode's the NFC South edition. Ooh. Let's start with... Wow. (laughs) The Saints are going to die, dude. Well, you are negative $75 million in cap. Let's talk about the term finagling, right? Finagling means to restructure like certain contracts, to cut players, to, to make money appear where there's not money to be spent. You guys cannot finagle. Anyone who could finagle on your team quit or resigned because they did not want to be there anymore. They did not want to deal with your negative $75 million in cap. If, oh my God, they, this is their choices. They can either draft players or sign, re-sign players before, before they go to free agency. They can't do both. <laughs> Honestly, just, just, just restart. Just, <laughs> just restart, just, quit, abort. Let, ev- let everyone go, restart your team. Unplug the console, <laughs> stop it. Quit the game. <laughs> Start a new lobby, I don't know what to tell you. You're done. It's over. Who's leaving? The, the James Winston's going to go play somewhere else. He's going to be a quarterback on a team or something. Maybe he's going to be a Buck again. Maybe nah, he's going to be a Steeler. He's gonna... Maybe he's going to be a Bronco. We're you know, know what, James now. Winston? Go be a Bronco. Go 30 Dude, for 30 again. He doesn't do that no more. He's like one of the best quarterbacks in the league when he plays. He just no, even when he played for the Saints, he had a game where he was like, hi, threw five touchdowns. And the I'm next just... game, he had like four interceptions. I just think he holds a lot of the records for averages this season. Well, he does because he when he played he played great this season, but he didn't play for like half the season. So uh, there were some times he looked like the Jameis Winston of old. I will not forget his four interception game immediately after his five touchdown game. Wasn't it against the Buccaneers though? It doesn't matter. He's gonna play somewhere else. He's not gonna be a Saint anymore. That's the point. That the Saints have failed. Ah, uh, you don't know. They might re-sign him. <laughs> they might franchise tag him or something. I don't even think they have the ability to franchise tag anyone. <laughs> they have negative seventy million dollars. It's negative seventy-five million dollars. Worse than the league. I mean, I mean, the closest is the Packers with negative fifty, and that's that's what is it? Fifty percent more than the Packers negative. Yeah. You guys are also gonna lose wow. Michael Thomas. Alvin Kamara's in jail. <laughs> the Do they still have to pay him if he's in jail? Because that might be like... I think he has some money guaranteed, but if he, if he has money guaranteed, it'd be frozen assets because he's in jail. Wow. You shouldn't be hitting people before an all-star game. That's, they're also losing who is this one? Taron Armstead? Oh, yeah, their best lineman. Marcus Williams? They're one of their great young defensive pieces. You gotta re-sign him, but then you gotta finagle. And who's gonna do all the finagling for you? Your defensive coordinator that you made your head coach. He, I, I love the wording. Like it's like, oh, he was he was hired, he was promoted. No, no, this one is he was informed that he was the new head coach. Like they had to walk into that man's office, like, hey, listen, um, we have some news to tell you. So you're like, you know, like Sean Payne's not here no more, right? He's like, yeah, oh, I was actually thinking about you know maybe going to a different team. No, here, 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 actually. You're you're the head coach of our team now. I didn't uh, I didn't I didn't interview. Oh, oh, that that was that's just the formality. We we've, we've seen what you can do. We we appreciate you. Um, can, can I talk to my wife about this first? No, no. See, this is, you're this, hired. This contract right here, <laughs> like, we threw in a couple extra zeros. So if you <laughs> but only if you sign it right now. He's oh. like, you got to pedal right one more zero in while you're standing here. That's, that's the best you'll get. Uh, but <laughs> I, I don't want to. It's no one wants to. It's fine. Just we'll pay you all the money. Just please don't go. Just sign the contract. Just, just <laughs> sign it. Just sign it now. And now he's got a he's got the task of dude. He's not gonna finagle. This he's guy, not gonna. This finagle. guy don't give a shit. <laughs> that's why I think they're just gonna restart. They're just gonna like trade everyone and just be like, hey. We're drafting people now. Dude, probably gonna have the worst record in the league next year, get the first overall pick, and have nobody. And just, just slowly figure it out. Honestly, and they're probably gonna extend him. They're gonna be like, dude, good job. What, good I, plan. I, yeah, I, he planned ahead. He's. They're like, you lost every. I lost every game. Okay, but we got the first overall pick. You know, this is this is a punishment for them going in all in for Drew Brees over and over again. This is what happens, guys. It's not. It's it's. Didn't they only get him one ring? Yeah, no, yeah, and that was like in like the early two thousands. Wow. 
Like, What's up with teams being like, we're going all in for this player, and then like, just coming short every time? Like, maybe 2009. Like, the Patriots never went like, oh, we're going all in on Tom Brady. and They just built a good defense and gave him white guy receivers. That's all he did. <laughs> They're like, good cornerbacks, that's how you win games. They gave him a defense that gave him chances, and he made the most of those chances. Let's move on from the Saints. They're gonna, they're gonna, they have draft pick. What is it? Twelve? What's? I think it's twelve. Oh, they don't. it's eighteen. Oh God. Good. Good job, guys. You almost made the playoffs. That's the worst. You guys should have tanked. Sean Payton didn't want to tank in his last season. Yeah. He didn't no. know it was his last Sean season. Sean Payton doesn't care about the future for the Saints. <laughs> I'm still telling you, Sean Payton saw what they were in seventy-five million dollars in cap hit, and he was just like. I'm done. This is this is the end of my tenure at the Saints. We won one Super Bowl. I got my one ring. I'm gonna go back and uh, see if my my son's team still needs a coach. Later. Uh, all right, let's move on from the Saints. Let's go to the Falcons. They're, they're fun to talk about. They're 20. What is it? Fifth worst. Uh oh, but that's only negative seven million dollars in caps. That's, that's right that's, in Fanubling range. They get rid of Calvin Ridley. They they honestly, I think they they restructure Matt Ryan or get rid of Matt Ryan. Honestly, get rid yeah, of Matt Ryan. Get rid of Matt. You draft you. Draft Carson Strong. That's what most people want you to do. Nah, don't draft Carson Strong. You guys go. Actually, don't take Sam out. He, he's destined to be alive. Don't you touch him. Their defensive guy, though, the one guy who I can't pronounce the name of because he has all the vowels and gets the most sacks. He's he's leaving probably unless you want to give him all the money. Foya Seda Okukuri. I thought their their good defensive guy was his last name was like Garrett. This Garrett. guy leads the league in tackles. That guy leads the league in tackles. In tackles. For a second, that's cut. That's he leads the league in tackles. He tackles all the guys because nobody else in the team does. <laughs> yeah, he tries. He plays real hard. Someone go get that man a fat contract for him to go struggle on your team. What does he play? Middle linebacker. Yeah. Dude, come to Pittsburgh. Come home. I'll be soup dude. That he's the perfect guy we need. Yeah. This is the point. Everybody's like Brian Flores is gonna fix Devin Bush because he's the guy we drafted that didn't pan out well. That's besides the point. You don't believe in Devin Bush? No. Um, Russell Gage. That's a receiver, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's all right. He he'll probably stay on us again. Bring him back. Franchise tag him. Who cares? Trade Ooh. Calvin Ridley. Bring him back. Have a nice time. Plus um, they have Kyle Pitts. Can't forget about Kyle Pitts. They have they have the eighth draft pick, which is nice. They, they get can a, get a quarterback. Get Actually, a quarterback? trade down and get a quarterback. No, honestly, draft. There's so there's they need they need defense. This is a defense heavy draft, so maybe stay right there and grab one of them defensive and drop like slobber knockers that fall. You know what? See if somehow do they have their next pick? Trade like three picks for the first overall pick. Go get. A good defensive piece. Trade up for Aiden Hutchinson. Go get Aiden Hutchinson. Go out there. Make go some try. Moves. Just like go out there and try real hard for something, and then you probably still won't be interesting next year. But like, I might watch your highlights. Yeah, the number one number one need is edge rusher. To be frank, trade up. This is this is your time. Go get the Heisman winner. Honestly, I can see them getting Kayvon on Thibodeau just because they try to fuck up, and him gonna be better because he'll be better for like maybe half a year, and then he'll get his shit together and start moving, moving. I don't think Kayvon Thibodeau is gonna be bad at all. He's so big. He's strong. not gonna come. I mean, it's a, there's a, there's adjustment period. There's always adjustment period, no matter who you are. Jamar Chase said the balls were too big when he first came to the league for the first like two weeks. Like, no, that was preseason. His first week of football, he lit it up. His preseason, he looked terrible. He was like, ah, I can't. Yeah, even he probably looked bad preseason too. I can see him being bad to like game two or three. When I don't know. Moving. He could come in like a nice Chase Young, like a second overall pick who comes in and is just a defensive wrecking unit. Like, Chase Young came into the league and was terrifying. Let's move on to the Panthers. The Panthers are, are fine. You know, they got they have the 17th best, worst. Where, where do you say 17th goes? Is 17th go up or down? Uh, well, it's not. It's the bottom half, so 17th, 17th worst. worst. They, they, they have $15 million to play with. They're not even negative. Wow, that's... That's just okay. That's just seventeen then. If they're not even negative, like they're, they're not even negative. Let's see. The negatives start when you hit. Um, what is it? Like twenty. 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 It's three million. Where's twenty first? Twenty first. 
three million. That's the Bucks. Twenty fourth is negative four. Where's twenty third and twenty second? Twenty second. Twenty second's the Cardinals, and it's negative point eight million. Ooh. So that's where you start going to the negatives. Which is the twenty second pick, or twenty second ranked. Wow. But the the Panthers got fifteen million to play with. They got some big free agents leaving though. They got uh, St- uh, Stephon Gilmore's the big one right now. Honestly, go see what you can get for CMC on an open market. That'd be interesting. I mean, like, what do you, what is what is the benefit of having CMC if he plays like one third of the games? He's too injury prone, but like people think he's amazing. So like someone will give him a give you a nice sum for CMC and trade awesome. him now. This is the perfect time to this off season, the best time to trade CMC. Yeah, this off season is gonna be crazy. It feels like it's gonna be a blood battle out there for some of these players. Some teams are gonna like like there's hope for a lot of teams right now because there's a lot of good free agents to sign. But once those guys start getting taken up, man, it's gonna be a fucking war out here. Ah, no, like after the draft. After the draft, you're gonna be like, boom, that's that's it. Yeah, no. Once the draft's finished, you get like maybe like one or two more big trades if you're lucky for that offseason. Yeah, but then like most of the teams have what they're rolling in with. I mean, that's what like like a week after the draft, um, two weeks the uh, the. Oh, what are they? Oh, like 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 the walkthrough days start. What are they called? Uh, OTAs. OTAs start. No, those yeah. are always fun. Yeah. See who shows up for the non-mandatory ones. Um, Panthers. I don't really. Who, who's a Hassan Reddick? I don't know shit about Hassan Reddick. I'm be frank with you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know Stephon Gilmore. I know Cam Newton. He, he's back. He's gone now. Honestly. <laughs> A team, if you want a nice Taysom Hill type guy, get a Cam Newton. I hope he goes. We said it last offseason, but let's say it again. Let's hope he goes to the Commanders. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, Cam Newton. Go go be a Commander. Go see if somehow you could trade Cam Newton for Chase Young. Cam Newton and CMC for Chase Young. And, like a pick. And we'll know they're going to be their running backs with them getting to Gibson. Oh yeah, actually do that. Do it. Go out there, make some moves. Blast this off season. Um, they what's the, what's the Panthers draft pick? Sixth. We talked about this already, dude. No, we talked about the Falcons, huh? Do you said they think you think they're gonna get Matt Corral at six? I've said that before. Yeah, I don't think I said that today though. I think they're gonna get. I think they're gonna get Matt Corral. I think they're stupid. I honestly. Yeah. Well, honestly, if you're gonna get Matt Corral, trade down. He's still gonna be there at probably around thirteen. I don't know, trade with the 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 Bills for Mitch Trubisky. Or no, he's a free agent, huh? Yeah, he's signed Mitch Trubisky. How are you gonna feel when Mason Rudolph gets his game and his time in the sun? Mason Rudolph went to the Super Bowl, I'll get a tattoo of Mason Rudolph across my chest. <laughs> I'm gonna hold you to that. Where are we at? Fuck the Panthers. So is it gonna be like a picture of him or is it? It's gonna be name? the number two. And it's gonna say like Rudolph under it or Mason above it. Probably Rudolph under it. Mark it down. Don't count on it happening. <laughs> I hope he. I hope he starts and wins the Super Bowl next year. Um, the last team is the Bucks. They got three million to play with in cap. The Bucks, honestly, they, Deshaun Watson wants to play there. So if you guys are worth anything, he's as cheap as he's ever gonna be. And Florida is the place to figure out legal situations. <laughs> Plus, there's no income tax. So all your money, your money. <sighs> what, what, they, what, what they have the. Th- 30th draft pick? 27th draft pick. Wow. So, you know, draft Kyle Trask again or something. I don't know. Who cares? They, yeah. <laughs> but they are losing They're losing a lot of guys that matter. Like Chris Godwin. Like Leonard Fournette. Sue. Gronk. Gronk. Gronk wants to go play with the Bengals. That's what he wants to do. Honestly, if CJ Uzama leaves and Gronk just goes to the Bengals... That'd be the Steelers' worst nightmare if Gronk went to the Bengals, to be frank, because we hate Gronk more than anybody, more Dude, than Brady. If Gronk went to the Bengals, I feel like he'd just lead him to the Super Bowl. He'd just have that know-how. He'd be like, ah, oh, throw me the ball when I'm open. I feel like he wants to play Joe Burrow because Joe Burrow's going to tell him what to do like, like Brady did. Like, you don't, you don't want to go play the Bengals because he's going to have to try. He doesn't, want to, he doesn't want to know what he has to do. He just wants someone to be like, do this, and he'll go do it. I really hope Leonard Fournette doesn't resign to the bank with the Bucks. I want him to go be the number one somewhere and have fun. Go... Go to the Jets. Go to the Eagles. They're losing everybody. Nah, go to the Jets. Get a nice Jets fat running back contract that's probably too much for a running back, but they'll give it to you anyways. That'd be dumb. Oh, the Jets are so dumb. Go to the Lions. Nah, they got DeAndre Swift. Swift. 
Gotta love me some DeAndre Swift. He's nice. I saw him tear apart the Steelers. I saw Dalvin Cook tear apart the Steelers. Uh, I don't think we finished with the worst run defense, to be frank. Yeah, I think it was the Chiefs. Dude, Najee Harris ran all over the Chiefs in that one game and it didn't even matter. Why would it matter? He was the only guy at the end of the game <laughs> ever. Remember when he was just chugging luggage and he refused to lose and he was like, everybody's just like, it's over, guys are down by like 40 or something, who cares? <laughs> he just ran, it didn't, he tried, he tried his best. Oh my that god. That 25-year-old rookie. If he wins MVP in his career, dude, I'd be so happy. Yeah. Um, I think, I think the Falcons are going to win this division, honestly. This division is a mess. Unless the Buccaneers get to Sean Watson, I think the Falcons are going to win that yet. And it's yourself. What do you think? I think the Bucks are going to win. I don't, I don't care if they get to Sean Watson. I just think this division is going to be the grossest, most nasty division in football next year. Like, I don't believe in this division at all. I don't think whoever wins this division is going to be a gross team in the playoffs and get a first round exit. Like, I. Like the like the Washington football team's playoff appearance. Yeah, it's just I don't believe in this division next year. It's icky. That's for dang dang sure. For dang dang sure. Um, tell us what you think. Who do you think is gonna win the NFC South? Tell me if you think it's as gross as I think it is. Somebody, please comment that you would take the Saints to win this division, so we can just hate on you forever. I, I want it. I want memes. Give me all the memes. You want all the memes? You can't ask for the memes. Give me the smoke. Made. You got it. The I'm fine. I'm calling for that smoke. Oh, Give me that smoke, smoke, Saints fan. Y'all suck ass. Yeah. Your team sucks ass, and I hate you. How about that? How about that for your fucking smoke? Get out of here.